Okay. All righteousness must be fulfilled. So, um... <sighs> listening. Always listening. And understanding what's going on in the world. Alright, so... The Spirit wanted me to make this video, and I'm making sure that every word comes from the Spirit. And the Spirit's been revealing a lot to me, and it's important these videos be made. <clears throat> so that people understand their true value, how loved they are, and we get to the point, which is always... You are, in some shape or form, a child of God. Are you a child of Jesus Christ, born of the Spirit? Jesus Christ is God. So, <sighs> everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And you who have no money, come, buy grain and eat. Come, buy wine and milk. Without money and without cost, simply accept it as a gift from God. Why do you spend money for that which is not bread, and your earnings for what does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me, and eat what is good, and let your soul delight in abundance. Incline your ear to listen and come to me here so that your soul may live and I will make an everlasting covenant with you. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you with you and I will make an everlasting covenant with you and I will make an everlasting covenant with you and I will make an everlasting covenant with you according to the faithful mercies promised and shown to David listen carefully I have appointed him David representing the Messiah, to be a witness to the nations regarding salvation, a leader and commander to the peoples. In fact, you, Israel, will call a nation that you do not know, and a nation that does not know you will run to you. Because of the Lord your God, even the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him for salvation while he is near. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. <clears throat> and one thing, well, a lot of things, but I've been praying I'm always praying. The prophetic song and word I received, I've been descent of 140. When I went downstairs and I was checking in with my friend, because that's cultivating and I enjoy spending time with him a lot. <laughs> he put on a video about the 144,000. And the scripture says, 140 and 4,000. And I was like, okay. Now, the way I'm taught, and the way, no way, no way. Ancient scripture, the truth. Pronunciation can change the meaning of a word. So that's why this video was done with a different camera. 
people say. Is there any end to your perfection? No, there is not. No. <laughs> Scripture says that. So, everything is symbolic. <clears throat> and the genealogy and lineage of Jesus, it was important. It has to come from David's bloodline. Judah. So, <clears throat> that's the tribe. Saying what the Spirit tells me to say like I always do. It's more important to me that everything focuses on relationship. That's why some of these songs are so passionate. You can grieve the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit may not tell you how the Holy Spirit is feeling, but there is a passionate love there. So that is one reason I'm using music. And music can explain things and paint pictures. And I was instructed through my friend who's been schooled in a very prominent school of spiritual gifts delivered that word to me, paint. So that's what I'm doing. But being king is a lot of responsibility and you have to know what's going on throughout the earth and how to address it as gracefully and peacefully and lovingly as possible. You also want to make sure if you see something in your life and you notice that it could become detrimental and have an impact later on. As king, you have to address it. So, <clears throat> it's important to me that no one feel above anybody else. That's throughout scripture. Covenants were made, correct. Covenants were broken, not by God. So it's not messy, it's real, and it's what it is. There is a remnant. If you believe Jesus Christ was the Messiah, if you believe Jesus Christ is God, that's the final covenant. And I've heard um, many theories on the 144,000. <clears throat> what the Spirit is instructing me to say is <clears throat> those are leadership positions based on the choice they made to follow the Holy Spirit, to gain the wisdom, the spiritual knowledge, and the understanding that was given to them because they have the Spirit of Jesus Christ living in them. So they have more of a godly view on things from a higher perspective. So a lot of people can see what I'm doing, a lot of people can't. It doesn't change the fact that the Spirit is telling me to do it, so I'm doing it. And that's how I wanted my 144,000 to respond. And I was sitting in class, enjoying it, and a man was speaking, and I felt his example that he was setting was not the example I wanted to set for the class. My head pastor was quick to correct, and that's one thing I've been looking at my church as you 
guys don't correct each other. You're supposed to. If the spirit tells you to say something, if the spirit tells you to jump in, you're supposed to. It's because someone might not be in tune to God's voice enough to where they take that as their confirmation rather than hearing God speak through someone else. And he's amazing at it. And he said something correcting the man that was speaking. He said, pursue peace. If you have peace with the decision, that's more than likely the decision. Now, me, myself, I'd have gone farther. Did you read the scripture? Did you pray on it? Did you get your confirmation? But he speaks more... He's amazing. <clears throat> he speaks at uh, more the classes level. Myself, I like to speak in the spirit because words can lose things. So, in the spirit, we're at the level of thought. which is actually more truth revealed. But I'm not going to get into that right now, because the Spirit's telling you not to. And I was sitting down, and I was explaining my homework was to figure out uh, the plan for my kingdom startup. And I was led... And I did the research, and it says, you cannot monetize your channel until you have a thousand subscribers. So I'm working on that. <laughs> and um, throughout uh, the last week, I'm taking the walk with my church. I noticed that doors were being opened that would have been easier. Me being me, I'm staying with the spirit, so I didn't take the easy road <clears throat> and one of the young ladies she's funny she went from creating an evangelist app to she's gonna do a massage business <laughs> and I was proud of uh, my friend who's a uh, Interesting story on that. I'm going to get into that as the Spirit leads me. He says, you went from evangelist app to that? And I thought that was a perfect correction. And then through the Spirit, of course. I looked at him. We were both smiling. This is real church. We corrected because we loved. Because I had already known, I was like, what she's supposed to be doing. So I said, the Spirit is leading me to tell you, God's dreams always seem impossible. Now this is loving correction, trying to keep her on her path, because her path also involves her meeting people and making connections and them working together and her developing friendships and relationships. It's not just the evangelist app where she's intimidated she doesn't think it's possible based on her level of knowledge it's not her level of knowledge that is needed it's her obedience could be part of her path she meets somebody that does have that knowledge <clears throat> And then I saw a woman connect with another woman. Their God-given ideas happen to mesh. So there's friendships being forged there. And the overall goal is, of course, still unify Israel, but expand the kingdom of heaven. That's what it's always been about. And there's many ways it's framed 
and mostly I've just understood learning levels <laughs> because the blessings and um, I stored up my treasures in heaven through obedience the narrow room so those are what's being given to me now which is you and also some other things it's important to me that the remnant experience the kingdom of heaven paramount and I'm also focused on my church and not turning a blind eye towards what's going on in the world but <clears throat> it's a dynastic rule that's one thing and it's not ruling the way humans think it's ruling it's serving and loving each other so that we avoid all the unpleasant things my kingdom we run it like this and we have to have the voice of truth and the biggest thing that i've been seeing so much is not being spirit-led having the ways of I'm going to hear what I want to hear and that's always been a huge issue with me because then I'm going to step back and say that's not what I said it's not how I'm guiding you don't expect me to bless what you're doing <laughs> and then certainly don't get angry with me because it didn't work it didn't work because I have something better for you and plus sometimes you're not ready for it so <clears throat> being excited about your day every day is really life and there's so many things I've noticed about people's lives that I can pinpoint the problem but then I'll normally use if you have the faith for mustard seed you can say to this mountain jump and it will jump or what that means is if you put your faith in Jesus Christ, that mountain turns into something you stand on. So, <clears throat> understanding also everybody's theories and everybody's thoughts and how the Bible's being attacked scientifically and historically and all of that, you have to have a standard. So, the Bible is the standard <clears throat> and it always will be <laughs> so it's exactly the way God wants it so you go to why choose English right compared to other languages English is shortened to the point less room for interpretation, less room for the idea and the truth being lost in um, other ways. So you have your expressions you have your phrases that brings a whole nother level of expression of what you are trying to say so you also have to look at the bible god is communicating to people plain words don't encompass all of god's thoughts and when you receive revelation you know it and there's so many things being preached 
the biggest thing was people not being led by the Holy Spirit that were preaching. And they were teaching at a this is what I was taught, or this is what I've researched. Okay, did God tell you to do that? And one thing I love about like, so many things, I went up to him yesterday. <laughs> it was amazing. I said, I'm such a fan, I'm such a fan. <clears throat> then I kept walking my standard way of doing things. And then the man he was talking to started saying, well done, good and faithful servant. Well done, good and faithful servant. I thought that was classy. Now, the man that is teaching that you see in this other video, he looks like a version of one of my friends that was part of um, our, I'm going to say, <laughs> click of love. Because what was amazing about it, we never got angry with each other. We were there for each other. We weren't jealous of each other. Uh, my other friend, he went on to uh, play college football. In that family, that's what it was, is football. And even when you were uh, little, you were being trained on football. And each one would teach. And we had a friend, he was um, Filipino. And he was like my best friend. And then... The football player was like my best friend, and we were all best friends. And then we had another Samoan, he was a good friend. And there was rivalry between him and, uh, and I loved him too. So, <clears throat> I ended up um, introducing him to my sister. Now my little sister, anyone who has ever met my little sister, you fall instantly in love with my little sister. It's just, that's what it is. She got taken in. They loved her before I got to experience it. So it was amazing. I was like, why are you doing this? And then I understood. So a lot of Truth comes from experience. And we remain friends to this day. It's not submitted to Jesus Christ, so that causes a problem. But I still want to establish something. Have it vindicated that I'm of sound mind, as the scripture says. And then open the doors to everybody that has ever been kind to me or helped me. It's like one of my huge ambitions is to give people this amazing life. <clears throat> now, it didn't end up working out with my little sister. She did push him off the dock into the water. He <laughs> thoroughly enjoyed it. Now, I noticed that when you're in love, very little upsets you. There was, and is, a Samoan princess, and she used to talk to me, and she would say, they are royalty, but I'm more royal. Her last name starts with an S. It's not evil or anything. Don't think that way. <laughs> and she would say, I'm more royal. But they are royalty too. <laughs> she ended up marrying my best friend that's Filipino. So 
those bloodlines are the same yet different. Making sure this is what I'm supposed to say. On that island, they have their lineage and royal standards. Coming to this country, they have their identity, they know who they are. They're still royalty. And each one is taught. And I want people to see having Jesus Christ living inside of you. That's heavenly royalty. I want you to understand your value in the kingdom of heaven. I want you to truly see yourselves as heirs in Christ, with Christ. In the kingdom of heaven. This is how the kingdom of heaven is run. <clears throat> we still have the authority, the Holy Spirit, God. God's authority will always be sovereign and always reign. And there's a lot of doctrines and things being taught that aren't of Jesus. And anybody who has studied the scriptures understands that. So these videos are also for those the learned, those that have gone through the scripture and what it actually is and its purpose, why it's there. So <clears throat> why it has continued to exist and always will. Think of yourself as royalty. This is going to prevent you from getting into things that are not going to make you happy. And that's a huge main goal. Because I'm not just thinking about You, I'm also thinking about your kids, because those kids belong to God. And I'm thinking about everything. So, I got offered, offered an opportunity. <laughs> to uh, accept the house and it seems like a good idea and the spirit told me just wait for a little bit I'm not talking about my church but an actual housing house and The requirement, I meet the requirement. Now, in this state, it is difficult to get a house. So I'm always thinking about what's going to display the glory of God. I know it's going to need to be a God moment. 
and connect with the scripture, connects with the videos, I know that. So that's what I'm waiting on. As far as other things, that's happening fast. It's happening now. And right, I love you, especially you, especially you, definitely you.